Hello, welcome back to Mental Math. Today we're going to learn to multiply 99 times any two digit number. First of all, we're going to look at 99 and understand that 99 is 1 less than 100. So therefore, anything you multiply by 99 will be 1 less than. Let's take the number, for example, 54. 54 times 99 will be 53 something. Okay, so 53 is going to be the first part of your answer. Look at the 54 again and say, how far is 54 from 100? Well, what you're looking for is what is called the complement of that number. A complement is different between that number and 100. And the complement of 54 is 46. And that will be the second part of your answer. So 54 times 99 is 5346. Now, to practice that, you do what I call 910. Again, looking at the 54. Look at the 5 and say, how far is 5 from 9? That's 4. How far is 4 from 10? And that's 6. That's how you get your complement. That's how you calculate it mentally using 9, 10. Here's another example. Let's say 27 times 99. The answer, of course, would be 26 is your first part. And then 27 would give you what? Let's look at the, let's look at the 2 and say 7. Okay? And... Look at the 7 and say 3. That's the answer. 2673. Very easy to understand. You can practice that as many times as you want. It will always give you the same results because there are steps that you use. And you can do this mentally. Next thing you want to do, utilizing the attitude of the complements, is calculate birth years and current age. Say, for example, you meet somebody and they were born in 1962. Well, how old would it be on their next birthday? What you want to do is look at 62 and give the complement. Okay, again, you can utilize the 910 to get um, 38. Okay, and then since we're in a new century, which is 2010, you add 10, so that makes it 48. So there'll be 48 on the next birthday of this current year. Okay, now let's say, for example, you want to backtrack. Say you meet somebody and they're 27, okay, and they've had their birthday and you want to know what year they were born. Again, look at 27 and do the complement, okay. The complement this time, okay, would be 73 and then you add 10 so it's 83. They were born in 1983. That's how that works. All right. Last thing I want you to learn for your mental practice is how to calculate correct change. You go into a store and you buy something, and a lot of times, especially in certain stores where young people are working the cash registers, they don't have the like the automatic change. They might get lost if you give them, you know, a too big a number to deal with. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, so you won't have this, you won't have that problem if you're working in a cash register, or if you're giving someone your money, you don't trust them to give you the right change. You can just calculate it, and you know it's right. Okay, you go to the store and your tell is going to be thirteen dollars and eighty-two cents. What's your change? Well, of course, thirteen plus something is basically fourteen, so it's six dollars and eighty-two. Your complement is going to be twenty-eight. No, you know how to do that, right? It's not twenty-eight. It's going to be eighteen. See how that works? The problem with math again is that people don't take the time to see what things really are. So you go into a store and you buy something, you got the wrong change. Let's use another example. Here's a, a bigger number. So let's use a $50 bill this time. And you go to the store and you're going to spend uh, $38.19. Okay. And you give the guy a $50 bill. What do you get back? Okay. Well, 38 is 39. Okay. So that's that's going to be 1 plus 10. See how that works? 1 makes it 40, 10 makes it 50. So it's $11. Okay. And 19, 19 would be 8. One and that's your change right there, okay. So it's eleven dollars and eighty-one cents. Again, this is this is not about you know doing anything that's hard to do. It's knowing your complements. So let me give you a couple of numbers now, and let's work together to get the complements, okay? And see if we if we can do this properly, okay? The complement of sixteen is what? Okay, think about it, okay? The one of sixteen. And what makes 9? 8. The 6. And what makes 10? 4. That's your answer. Okay? It's 84. 
simple. Let's do 72. Okay, again, 7 and 7 and what makes 9? 2. 2 and what makes 10? 8. And that's the answer right there. And one more, 15. Okay, and 15 is easy. We know it's going to be 8 and 5. Okay, very good. Now, doing mental math is not something that you want to just say, I practice for an hour or a week. I want you to practice this daily because the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Okay, and you don't run into these problems of having to, you know, think about, oh, did I make a mistake and do I, do I need to find a pen? It's all easy to do. So take the time, learn these skills. I want you to please give me some comments, see if there's anything that you need me to clarify or to add to what I'm doing because this is going to be a series of videos I'm making for you. Thank you for watching. Continue to learn and have a great day.